Today I'm going to show you how to add your reference images to their own group or collection, as Blender calls it, and also how to make them unselectable in your viewport so that you don't constantly grab them and move them around when you're working on your model. So first off, we have to create that collection. If you look into my scene, I have one collection at the moment with everything in it. I want to separate out my reference images. So first off, you need to select both. So shift, select, shift, left click on your mouse, both of them, and then select M on your keyboard. You'll get this little pop-up. You're gonna to go to new collection and name it R-E-F-E-R -E -E reference. Okay, then create. Now you can see they've got their own little bin here, so they are separated out from the group. They're still, however, selectable. So in order to make them unselectable, we are going to change one of our settings. So as you can see, we can turn them the visibility off and on, but we can't turn the selectability off and on without adding one thing to our options. So if you go up to this filter option, you'll get this drop down. And what you want to do is turn on or toggle on this little arrow thing that's selectable. When that is blue, if you go back into your scene, you'll see that's added next to the eyeball. That is selectability. So I can turn off the selectability of this whole collection together. So now look, I cannot click. I can click on my model, but I cannot click on those reference images. And that was what I wanted. Uh, if I just want one of them to be unselectable, I can turn the whole group back on and just pick one. I'm not sure which one that is. Ah, it's this one. So, or this one. So now I can't select the bottom one because the selectability is turned off and I can select the other. However, since they're both references, I just want the whole group to be unselectable. And that's it. So Blender's very customizable. Um, I like to keep these up because I find this very useful, not just with references, but with all sorts of things that I don't want to change in the moment. And I hope this helped you guys. Please join me for more tips and tricks in Blender. I have a whole playlist and I will see you soon.